Ethernet. We're going to see how to send some uh, Solana Sol token to other wallet. So we're going to see the target wallet is this one, EV, and it's on DevNet. So let, let's see how much balance it has. It okay, so it, it has 0 0.021. So let's go to send some Solana. So we connect first, and let's send, let's send for example, 0.2. And we click send money, and we need to approve the transaction in the Phantom Wallet. This code is very simple. I built it with JavaScript and some HTML and a local host with Node.js. So we wait, we wait, wait until it's, conf it's confirmed. So we, we know exactly how much we are sending. Right now, we are sending point two sol. So let's approve that transaction. And we wait until it's confirmed by the blockchain. So okay, so I'm gonna teach you all how to do with all the code step by step, and I'm gonna publish all the code for free. So money was sent. So let's see, we must have 0.40, no, no, 0.2, because 0.221. Let's refresh. It's a little bit slow. Okay, so it's a little bit slow because we're in the devnet, so it's 0.221. So let's jump into the code. And we have a Node.js server with the dependency HTTP. So you know, you write uh, npm install and you, need, and you need to install because HTTP is already and you click install the express slash last save you run the command but I'm gonna cancel this because I already have it so you require also the file system library and you create a server and you you read the file the HTML that we're going to build that this HTML will do this it's very simple it's just a button to connect to the wallet, the quantity you're going to send in Sol, and it will convert to LAN ports, and then you send the money, and that, that's it. So, let's come back to the code. So let's go for the index. Let's build the HTML. So when you have the server, you just, you just run um, node, and you, you run the server, and you click enter. So in the index, Let's start building. First, we create a button for connecting the wallet with an on-click function. Then we an input of type number, and here we're going to to enter the sol to send. Then the signing transaction. Here you can put the wallet, but I just put a placeholder, and you send the money. Then the status is disconnected by default until you click on connect. Okay, the, the variable wallet, the LAN ports, LAN ports per sol, you get it from here, Solana web, that is a is, is taken from here. This, this is the Solana web 3 js library. So that's why it's Solana web 3. Okay, so first step, connect the wallet. So it's, it's an async function, and we try, we await until the Solana is connected, and if it's connected, it will have an, an on-trigger event that will trigger, and will change the status of the inner text to connect. Then the signing transaction and send money. So we pass the de destination public string, key string, here you can put any wallet that you want to send the money to and the LAN ports. 
you get the lamports from, from the input with the ID quantity, the connection. You get a new connection, we're going to connect to DevNet. You can change here to mainnet. Then the transaction is an Instagram transaction. So we, we build a try, try catch, and we, we, we pass the destination public key string, the LAN ports, we start sending the money, we made the console log with the destination public key to the, okay, here we, we build the, the, the public key and he, here with the account information, we get the wallet information. We, we ne next get account information of the destination public key. The instruction. The instruction is a system program, the object constructor, and we transfer from, from the wallet, from our wallet, but here we get the, all the information. We get the wallet to the public key, and we send these LAN ports and the transaction. We set wallet transaction and let's create that that async function sec, sec wallet transaction is going to be new Solana web transaction. We add this, the instructions. So we pass the instructions here. So we here we can see the, the instruction. We get a recent block hash. And for the transaction, we add a recent block hash. And finally, we sign, sync, and send the transaction. And here we here is a, we pass three these three arguments, and we we wait for the signature. We because we're using Phantom Wallet, we use Windows Solana sign transaction, and we await for confirm transaction signature, and we return the signature, and with the signature. Finally, here the result. We await for connection, confirm transaction, and we, if the transaction is correct, money sent. We catch an we catch an eruption and come to my all my collection and come to my all my collections of NFTs. I have a lot of characters, like for example, a lion punk, a bear people. So check my collections and please support me because all these characters will be part of, of the of all these uh, system I want to create of this metaverse. Thank you.